In this demonstration, we will show you how to perform the initial startup on the Control Techniques M700 series AC drive. Before we begin, make sure that your drive is wired properly and safely energized. You will also need your motor nameplate data. We will be going through the menu zero parameters which have all the necessary parameters for a basic startup. From the start screen, hit the enter key and use the arrow keys to scroll down to parameter .001 minimum reference clamp. The default setting should be .0 Hz. We can keep this setting. Scroll up to parameter 2, maximum reference clamp. Again, we can keep the default setting of 60 Hz. Scroll up to parameter 3, acceleration rate 1. To change this setting, press the Enter key and use the arrow keys to change the parameter value. In this demonstration, we will adjust the acceleration rate down to 3 seconds. So scroll left to select the first digit, scroll down to select 3, and press Enter to save the value. Scroll up to parameter 4, deceleration rate 1, and do the same thing. Press Enter to change the parameter. Use the arrow keys to change the parameter value and press Enter again to save that new value. In this demo, we will set the decel rate at 3 seconds. Next up is parameter 5, Reference Selector. The default speed reference is set for analog inputs A1 and A2. In this demo, we will be using the keypad, so we want to press Enter to change this parameter. Use the arrow keys to find the keypad setting and press enter to save the value. Because we're using the keypad and this is a basic startup, most parameters from 6 through 42 can remain their default values. Parameters in this range either adjust the drive for analog inputs, show read-only data, or control advanced parameters. We do stop at parameter 23, jog reference, and set this value to 3 Hz. Continue to parameter 43, rated power factor, which is a motor parameter. You can leave this value at its default setting unless this data is available on your motor nameplate. Next is parameter 44, rated voltage. Our demo setup has a 460 volt motor, so we are able to leave this setting at its default value, but you can change it using the same method we've used to change parameter values. Parameter 45, Rated Speed, sets the motor rated speed, available on your motor nameplate. Press Enter on the parameter, use the arrow keys to change the value, and press Enter to save the setting. Our demo was rated for 1,725 RPM. You will repeat this process for parameter 46, rated current, and parameter 47, rated frequency. In our demo, we had to adjust rated current to 0 0.800 amps, and we were able to leave rated frequency at its default setting of 60 Hz. Finally, at parameter 48, user drive mode, we are leaving the setting on open loop, which means we don't need a feedback device in our setup. For basic startup, this is fine. The remaining parameters in the menu are either read-only or can remain on their default setting. When you are finished, hit the back key and you will land on the drive's home screen. The display will read, ready, no action. From here, press the green start button to start the drive, and use the arrow keys to increase your speed. The speed reference is in Hertz, so 7.0 is roughly 11% max speed, or about 50 RPM. Using a lower speed is a good opportunity to verify the direction of your motor. If the motor is rotating in the wrong direction, simply swap any two of the motor leads on your drive. We will cover this in detail in a future video. At this point, you should be able to freely increase motor speed to 60 Hz, or 100%, and your drive is ready for basic commissioning. 
For more information about the M700, visit us at gelco.com.